Okay, this was fun. I didn't expect that, but it was wonderful. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes, okay, he's coming. John is coming. Oh my God, <laughs> beware. So the lights are red, uh, just a little info. Um, okay, this video is uh, recorded before the Vox uh, series appeared on television. So here we go. So um, this is the, those are the things that I bought. It's 100% cotton and it's colorful as hell as you can see. So next up, Taylor in Munich. So here we are. So, this is super. Yeah, I love it. Habe ich <laughs> Bitte nicht so, so das Hode. Ja, die wollen doch bestimmt. Die wollen doch immer so gerne haben. Die haben bestimmt nichts dagegen. So here we are again, three oh no four days later. Let's see what my tailor created out of these wonderful uh, one hundred percent cotton materials. Color blast, here we go. Was du, was du? Wow, schaut doch cool aus. Schau mal. <lacht> Voll der Color Blast. Schau mal, das war ja. ja, was geht denn da ab, hey Wahnsinn. Alles schon cool. was. Alles schon was. Und bist du zufrieden? Ich bin zufrieden, ja. Passt, ja. Ich ja. Ach so, so voll, voll zur Geltung komme ich. Ja. <lacht> Oder ich mach das mit einem weißen Band. Ach, passt, gar kein Problem, mein Freund. Ja, ist doch gut, ist ziemlich geil. Die Farben sind alle schön. Aber die, also mir persönlich gefällt es aber mit dem Hauptschriftzug noch besser, gell? Aber das ist so Geschmackssache, das ist auch geil. <lacht> die Dick Tracy. Das ist cool, gefällt mir. Garantiert. Superman. Wie gefällt dir das? Die Formulation finde ich richtig cool. Ich finde es auch mega geil, das gefällt mir schon echt gut. Sehr gut. Hast du okay. gemacht? So, here we are. So, this is the... Uh, I wanted to say the last day on planet Earth. Almost. So today is the departure to Mallorca. I'm nervous. Are you also nervous? Because I am. Okay, first surprise. Et voila, the flight is cancelled. Et voila. Oh my god. Cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. Eh, 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 eh. Oh my God. <laughs> so here's the update. Um, right now I'm waiting. So there's another flight going to Mallorca, but uh, there's um, a stop in between. So it's also in Germany, it's called Düsseldorf. So um, first of all, here's a little delay. Then I uh, fly to Düsseldorf and then from Düsseldorf, it goes to Mallorca, okay? So uh, I have to wait and wait and wait. It's tradition, you have to drink tomatoes, tomato juice, 10,000 feet above. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, here I am, just arrived, oh boy, here we are, here we are, come to Papa. <laughs> so what is my first impression here from Mallorca? First of all, what I found out is that everybody, as soon as they arrived here, they are relaxed. Even the kids, they jump around, it's like this um, typical uh, vacation. Uh, atmosphere. So this is some completely different when you when you <laughs> when you pass by Munich. If you make a stop in Munich, everybody's in this business mode. 
But here everybody is chili billy vanilla. So, so this is so crazy because I never thought to myself when I said yes to this whole television production that I could uh, also find a few minutes for myself to go to the beach. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe you can hear it. Wait one second. Come with me. Come with me to the beach. Are you ready? Wait. I know you cannot see it truly because the resolution is not that good. The light is so low. But anyway, the sound itself is beautiful. Okay, wait, Psst, listen, listen. Listen. Once again, wait. Ain't that beautiful? forgot something. What I also want to bring with me is my book. In Germany it's called In Name der Hoffnung. Do you know this guy? In the name of hope. So maybe if it works out, um, they want to find a girl for me. So it's very difficult, I think, because if somebody other than me tries to find someone for me, okay, but never say never, maybe. But if it should appear and they say, wow, okay, nice. And I, for myself, say, okay, maybe girlfriend material, let's give it a try. So then I can uh, give her a present and the present would be, et voila, my own book. So because if you read this book, you know 100% me, what's inside of me. In the name of hope, im Namen der Hoffnung. Das Buch, das ich geschrieben habe. Streets of Palma de Mallorca 2.0, Achtung! Schau mal, wie cool das ist. Schaut hier drüben. It's raining! <laughs> so this is a funny thing in between. Um, thousands of water pistols. On this side the yellow ones. And on the other side the red ones. I guess it's getting wet any second. Wonderful. I don't know how 
how many hundreds or thousands water pistols are here in action. Hey, why cannot every war be fought like this? Just a little water, a few water pistols, and that's it. And then after that, peace. <laughs> You have to be careful. There are pistols everywhere. So good morning everybody. So uh, this is my outfit. John Patrick Christopher from head to toe with spats. Hey, okay, let's take a little stroll and maybe I can have a little coffee down at the beach. But I have to hurry a little bit. This guy can't stop drinking espresso all over the world. He must be addicted to espresso. I guess you're right. <laughs> Here I am, <laughs> laying on the beach, having a great time. Okay, so uh, what are my thoughts? Well, of course I'm here in Mallorca and everything is chilly and relaxed and you can see and feel how the people walk slowly, feel relaxed. Of course it's a uh, uh, Mallorca. People come here to have vacation, to relax. And what I also found out is all those shops here around is um, the ones who, who are the owners of the store, they take their time. They're not in a hurry. Um, so sometimes they open the shop at 10 a.m., sometimes at 11, sometimes at 11.30. <laughs> So uh, this is what I think is one of those things what we Germans can learn a lot, we in the Western world. So, oh, take a look at this fella here above me. Can you see him? The little birdie? He's doing the same thing. He's chilly, he's relaxing, he's taking his time. <laughs> his friend over there also. So um, I think this is what we all have to learn, that we're not in this 100% stress mode all the time. So in the end, we only live on this planet once. And why should we give us this enormous hurry, this enormous pressure? So and I think we can all learn from each other. Maybe here they're a little bit too lazy, too uh, easy going. But on the other side, I think we are too stressed out. More business, more money, more, more, more. And in the end, we have to feel in ourselves and um, come down a little bit, relax. Have a free mind to see the beautiful things in life. If we only work and work and work, how can we see the beautiful things? We're completely overdosed. I always co compare this like a sponge. Okay? If the sponge is full of water and then um, some water comes down on the sponge, everything drops down because the sponge cannot suck it out anymore. So this is like we are. So we're completely full of thoughts, negative thoughts, fears, etc. How can we? recognize all of the beauty around us like this here for example so beauty is always around but we have to be uh, free from our thoughts from our negative thoughts and have capacity left to see all of these wonderful things so this is what I can say 
about this vacation here and this um, the last impressions. Thank you. So now everything went super fast, not fast, super fast. So right now here I'm on the airport. Here I am with my bags. <laughs> this was more than fast. Boy, okay. Now I have to find something to eat. So here I am um, at the airport having my last uh, cup of coffee. Here they call it Americano. So it's an espresso with water. Um, and in the back, as you can see, um, wait, what can I show it? Yeah, here we are, exactly over there. They have to uh, go through and then I'm in the area uh, where the planes take off. So how did I feel? So for me, I can, uh, I can say it was a wonderful experience. They're, they are all very, very friendly and it's oh, very stressful for them. For me, it was not stressful. For me, I was um, nervous in the beginning. I'm nervous. Are you also nervous? Because I am. And, um, but so many people are involved in this project. This is unbelievable, especially when you see the things behind the curtain. <laughs> so, okay, um, so there, it's a phenomenon that they are very friendly when you compare this to this enormous stress that they have. But I think, and this is for me the most important thing, and uh, this is what I can tell you, everybody who's listening, who's watching, find out who you truly are, your true color. And if everybody else says around, hey, you're crazy, or hey, what are you, uh, it doesn't matter. It's your life. You only live once. I only live once and but you have to feel well and if you feel well if you like to dress John Patrick Christopher if you like to read spiritual novels if you like to write spiritual novels if you want to dress like Winnie Pooh and walk around whatever you want and if you feel it from the bottom of your heart and nobody else around gets hurt so then do it Show your true color and don't hide it. Yes, so that's it. And thank you for watching. Ah, hey, one thing, one more thing. Um, if you didn't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, follow me on other journeys, especially the journeys into ourselves. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye.